As you can see, the Christmas season has begun in most department stores. In about three weeks, the shopping crush will begin in earnest. And along with all the shoppers will come the shoplifters. Retail experts estimate over $3 million in merchandise is stolen from the nation's stores daily, and that one person in 10 is a potential shoplifter. And never is shop theft worse than in the season of giving. At Christmas time, you have more business, so you have, consequently you have more customers in your stores, and if you go by the statistic one out of 10 is going to steal, then you're going to have a lot more shoplifting around the busy times of the year. On a busy day, Taishi's in North Park will nab five people for stealing. Professional thieves can get 30 cents on the dollar for department store merchandise, but they are not the main problem. Oh, we find that about 51% of all of the shoplifters apprehended are juveniles. And uh, we also find that in most retail stores that female apprehensions are higher than male. They range in every class. We get from the uh, derelict uh, stealing to get a bottle of wine to the uh, millionaire doing it on a lark. But whether it's a lark or a profession, shoplifting is costing everyone money. Most retailers mark their merchandise up about 3% to compensate for pilferage. The war against shoplifting includes sophisticated spying devices such as two-way mirrors and undercover detectives. But the stealing is almost impossible to eliminate, especially since experts think 70% of it is done from the inside by store employees. So, in the end, there is little anyone can do except issue a Yuletide warning. Taishas prosecute shoplifters no matter what the season. Bill O'Reilly, Channel 8 News.